How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and if you didn't know we got our rank 3 maestro right here. I'm going to be doing the gameplay today. Uh, I think I'll be uploading it very soon. He has some pretty chunky stats as a rank 3. He's not awakened though uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, take him uh, for a spin. Uh, probably one of the most excited I've been for a champion in a long time and uh, yeah let's just get started. All right, so this is the team I came up with. We got uh, him with Hulk, which uh, gained plus 10% Fury Potency for each other Synergy member. Uh, and this is actually all four of them that I put on here. Uh, we got uh, Captain America, which does nothing. We got Iron Man, which really does nothing. And really, they're all just really here for this potency. <laughs> um, there are a couple others that I'll probably experiment with um, later on. Um, but for now, I think I just went potency and we're going to go ahead and, uh, punch Winter Soldier in the face. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start here with no relic. Um, we're just going to go ahead and, uh, show him without the relic just so that, um, we get the full damage, uh, comparison, I guess you could call it. There we go. We're just going to build up our neutronium. Um, and as we build up the neutronium, we're going to start gaining these buffs, glancing, pierce, and I think there's a uh something else like a cosmic something this one cosmic radiation which uh does damage while i'm next to the opponent i'm gonna throw my special two here oh my goodness he's popping off and now that makes them uh passive there we go i think the special two actually just gives me furies and then the charges give me passive and then now we just really just want to spam this special one look at this dude melt man absolutely insane there we go we can get keep our charges up by staying aggressive with our mediums there we go and yeah man just keep rotating through the special one until the furies go away now if he's awakened um he would actually um refresh his furies um with the special one i believe uh and so once that's gone that's kind of the main uh, weakness of the Unawakened Maestro on offense, is once that's gone, you kind of have to build it up again. Um, otherwise, you would be able to uh, maintain it. So yeah, absolutely not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and try to finish this fight. There it is, man. Oh my goodness. He's so fun and so cool. Like Having an in-game boss on your account to play is crazy. Um, 94 hits, only a minute and a half, not bad. Like I said, if we had those Furies, probably cut that time down a little bit. Uh, but let's take him into some actual um, everyday content and see how he does. All right, so I need to catch up on the um, this uh, Necropolis whatever events thing uh, because ever since Necropolis has been out, I haven't even touched anything else in the game, really. I've just been so focused on getting it done. And now that it's done, we can go ahead and uh, take this... Uh, and start doing it uh so yeah we're gonna go ahead and go through here with him just so you can see how he is on everyday content i like to do that at least i didn't equip a relic yikes yikes i wish you could equip relics and quests or something but okay well I'll just have to deal with it um so yeah we're just gonna see how he does on regular uh content man because i think that kind of gives everyone the best idea of what a champion's actually like is when you're running through side events and stuff with your characters so interesting thing about this is that you actually it's actually kind of flipped the uh usually you want that regen um, but what you want to do is actually get that regen on the opponent so that their healing's reversed it's a interesting node so here we go we're gonna go pop the special tube and stay close so that they get the regen and see you later so we could have done that cleaner but <laughs> whatever um i didn't show them off too much <laughs> Uh, that's a fun node though, but if you mess up, you're, you're gonna get knocked out there. So moving on to Misty. Uh, Misty, I don't know what her nodes are. Um, oh right, parry vulnerability. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Parry, gain a fury, and punch her in the face. So here we go. She's unblockable. Nice, dude. That's what we love. I don't even know if that said that in the, uh, in the, um... Oh, what? What? Come on. Let me parry you. Why is she unblockable? Is it really unblockable mighty charge? Come on, bro. Please. There we go. Good thing we're tanky. Otherwise, we'd be knocked out right now. Oh, I hate this special one, too. Let's back her up. 
That's actually a special too, sorry. Yeah, we're gonna block all of that. I don't wanna have to deal with any of that. There we go. Let's see if a special one can help us burst her down. There we go. I have a lot of practice with her in the Necropolis, so nice try there, Misty. See you later. <laughs> yeah, she was actually pretty tough in the Necropolis, so. All right, we got Mole Man next. I did not read his, uh, but I know he just gets armor breaks. Uh, oh, nice, Sam, hitting Mole Man into his block. Very good strategy there by me. Right, he's gonna get the power gain. Boom, boom, boom. Up. Oh, and by the way, uh, Maestro Special Three isn't anything special. Uh, it kind of just stuns the opponent. I'm pretty sure for like X amount of seconds, so it's nothing too much to be worried about. There we go. Oh, I got two Furies here, which is interesting. I don't know what. Uh, I bet it's. I bet I threw the special two a little too soon. I bet the charges kind of dictate that, huh? Here we go, another special one. That special one is so satisfying, dude. So satisfying. Here we go. Here we go. Not bad, man, not bad. So this is gonna be a little complicated. Um, we have to knock him down. Uh, and we gain more attack but we're gonna be degenning, so I need to kind of try to do this pretty quick. Um, there we go, he's very tanky. Oh, right, because he has the knockdown node. Eh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one. Let's see. Yeah, it's gonna melt me too fast. Unfortunately, I just don't have enough health to do this, so I guess we'll move on. All right, up next, we're gonna take him into the Thronebreaker uh, difficulty side event and see how he does here. We're gonna go just down the basic path for now and see what kind of damage this guy can do. Uh, I put on a Relic, and yeah, I mean, his team actually isn't like that bad. Like, yeah, Iron Man, who's a beast now, and Hulk, who's like amazing now, so that's actually a really solid squad. And then you can run like two other people. So yeah, that that's a pretty, pretty dope squad right there. So he has a 10% chance on this path per hit to apply an armor break to the opponent, um, but I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Uh, let's go. Come on now. Ghost. Thank you. All right. Okay. There we go. We'll use a special two here. Not bad on that damage, man. Not bad. Relic. And we should melt her down with a special one. 12k, 12k, 11k. Wow, jeez, man, relax, relax, dude. All right, up next we got the guy who everyone forgets about, Beast, on defense here, and yeah, this should be a pretty easy fight. This path ain't too bad, ain't too bad at all. Pretty sure you can get armor breaks on this path, but I guess maybe not. Maybe I'm clueless. <laughs> maybe I'm clueless. There we go. Nice special two. Boom. Now we can just special one spam, dude. There we go. Come on now. Come on, beast. Help me out. Thank you. I wish his cosmic radiation did a little more damage on offense, if I'm gonna be picky here. One more special one, maybe? Almost. There we go. He's so fun. So fun to play, dude. Seriously. All right, up next we got Spot. So first kind of really, really difficult fight, in my opinion. I really don't like fighting Spots at all, especially when you don't have miss, but here we go, approaching untouchable. I'm pretty sure if I hit him now, like, yeah, he's untouchable. There we go. Like I usually, this is why I bring a blade, is for fights like this. So we'll be okay though, we'll be okay. I just gotta get, get him uh, to relax a little bit. There we go. 
Into our superior rage. Oh, he f went untouchable. Relax. Please, man, relax. Why is this character so crazy on defense? There we go. Push him back. And melt him down. Come on now. Should be one more and we should be good here. Nice, dude. Nice, man. Alright, next we got Moon Knight. Uh, this might be the last fight I do because I don't want the video to be too long. And I think you've kind of seen enough uh, of him to at least get an idea of what he can do on offense. Um, yeah, Moon Knight needs a buff, by the way. Why can't he uh, get a buff? Oh my gosh. Okay, so he's going to hit me with a special three. I think we're going to be able to tank it. We have 94,000 health, so we should be okay. Yeah, we're fine. There we go. So we have the special three now. I think I'll save up for Superior Rage so we can get the stun. And then we'll start. Okay. So we're in Rage now. Okay, let's throw this. Probably... <laughs> One of the coolest special threes available now. He breaks the shield for no reason. I guess to activate his gauntlet thing. And then he just goes and just punches the heck out of the opponent. And then, uh, yeah, he's stunned. So I probably shouldn't have pushed him to another special three. But that's okay. Because we are a, a tanky boy, man. A tanky boy. There we go. I love how it roots them right into place. This feels a little more dominating. Okay. He's getting a lot of power. He must be in a uh, full moon. Yeah, he has full moon phase right now. There we go. First special two. I mean, special one. Uh, special one's definitely the main damage dealing special, which is cool because uh, because uh, that means it's easy to access, man. Moon Knight kind of gave me a little more trouble than I thought he would. There we go. It's done. It's done. And it would not be fair if I didn't at least try to fight my own maestro here. Rank 3, obviously no nodes or boosts or anything like that from uh, the quest, uh, from any quest or anything. But I thought, uh, well, let, why, let's try it. Let's see what can happen here. And it looks like we're not, <laughs> we're not doing too hot. Uh, <laughs> glancing is already pretty atrocious. Um, you know, in practice fights... Um, they usually go pretty quick, and this is already seeming to be, there we go, um, pretty nasty. So, let's see here, there we go, look at all the glancing, try to heavy him, glancing again. I can see definitely where he's going to be a pain, especially if you don't have someone like Kindred. I do have Kindred, so I might be taking Kindred up to rank 5 just to counter people like this who might have one. Especially since you just need completion for the six star version. Um, so I think that wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Yeah, he's definitely a tanky boy. And now they're actually locked into place until he gets his, that, that neutronium removed. So that's pretty nasty too. So yeah, man. Yeah, I can see why he'd be a problem. All right, guys. So that was rank three maestro. Seven star rank three maestro. Let me know what you thought. Um, let me know, uh, yeah, your thoughts about the champion down below. Uh, are you scared of him on defense? Uh, what do you think about him on offense? And do you like the character just in general? Otherwise, um, yeah, thank you guys for all the support on the streams and everything. Um, this last week's been really fun. So uh, I hope you guys uh, had fun too. So uh, anyways, y'all take care.